calling this a seismic shift in policing, comparing it to the elimination of stop and frisk. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Heiniger is live in Lower Manhattan. Josh? Well, shot a bill, the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis forced a reckoning of police departments all across the country. None more so, perhaps, than the country's biggest department, the NYPD. And late this afternoon, as you said, a seismic shift from the police commissioner, Dermot Shea. We're talking about the department's storied anti-crime teams. It's about 600 cops across the city assigned to each precinct. These are plainclothes officers who work typically under cover of darkness, working very hard. Uh, in the shadows, really, to try to take guns off the streets and disrupt uh, violent crime as it happens. Of course, many of those officers, because of the nature of the work, end up in incidents uh, with uh, 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 people uh, related to the crimes they are trying to disrupt. There are shooting incidents that happen related to the anti-crime teams, and it is a very aggressive posture that has lasted for decades in the city. Police Commissioner Dermot Shea today said the time has come for a change in this strategy. It's a big move when you look at culturally how we police this city, John. And what we always struggle with, I believe, as police executives is not cr keeping crime down. It's keeping crime down and keeping the community working with us. And I think those two things at times have been at odds. I would, I would consider this in the realm of closing one of the last chapters of Stop, Question, and Frisk. I would put it as that high of a, a time. This is not without risk, let me be clear. Um, and, and the risk will fall squarely on my shoulders. Um, I, I worry when I, when I make this decision of unintended consequences, do we recover less guns? Um, but it's also how we recover the guns. It's what I'm asking my officers to do. And I have to protect the people that live in this city. I have to make sure that we build trust with the residents of this city. I also have to protect my cops. And I think this decision is the right decision, and it's, it's the right decision at this time. It's also a controversial decision that was to be expected. The union representing most officers, the PBA, released a statement late this afternoon saying anti-crime's mission was to protect New Yorkers by proactively preventing crime, especially gun violence. Shootings and murders, they say, are both climbing steadily upward. But city leaders, they added, have clearly decided that proactive policing isn't a priority anymore and chose this strategy. They will have to reckon with the consequences. That's from the PBA. The mayor since then tweeted a very, very short tweet. Your city hears you, he wrote. Actions, not words.